Tired of having big data profit off of your identity and choices? Well, then I've got some good news for you. Welcome back to ICO or No. This is Jeremy from Blockchain WTF, and today we're gonna go over an ICO that hopes to revolutionize both the data and advertising industries, Wolk. And of course, we'll go over our four questions that we ask every single time we evaluate an ICO in order to see how Wolk measures up. So let's dive into the first question. What is the Wolk project and what problem does it hope to solve? As I mentioned a little bit earlier, the current problem is that the big internet presences with lots of users like Facebook and Google are gathering their users' data in an irresponsible manner and selling it back to advertisers so consumers really don't have control of their own preferences anymore. In its simplest terms, Woke is attempting to decentralize the existing advertising process which rewards middlemen at the expense of the consumer. In order to achieve this, Woke is introducing their own protocol, which supports decentralized data exchange between buyers and sellers on the blockchain. The way current advertisers work with the internet is that they have identified certain markers, such as your phone, email address, or other form of identification, and they tie those to certain preferences in order to bring you targeting advertising. Currently, Google and Facebook provide very limited access to these data markers leading advertisers to constantly request the same information over and over again, which leads to a very inefficient and expensive advertising system. And once these websites obtain your data, they won't let it go without a fight. It's a one-sided deal, and I really don't like one-sided deals, unless I'm on the winning side. The Wolf Protocol outlines several ways that the ecosystem will work. Basically, there's three roles. Data buyers will spend Wolf in, extent, in exchange for data, Data sellers will sell that data to the buyers, and data scientists will be rewarded for analyzing that data. Without getting too technical, the Wolk protocol is planning on using decentralized storage methods based on Swarm. This should streamline processes, reduce costs, and give control back to the consumer. Now that we know a little bit about the Wolk project, we can move on to our second question. What are the market conditions facing the project, and what is its ultimate viability? There are current advertising solutions on the blockchain like Brave Browser and also there are current data storage solutions such as Swarm and Filecoin, which we did a review on, linked down below. However, there really is room in the market for Wolf because they are straddling both those fields. Because of the uniqueness of the Wolf protocol, the project has seemed to carve out a niche in two fields. So instead of heading to one project for data storage and another for advertising solutions, Wolk has set itself up as a one-stop shop. While carving out your own niche is very important, it's also important to be aware of the size and scope of your project. What are your goals and are they realistic? No project wants to bite off more than they can chew, ultimately not to achieve any of their goals. Now that we learned a little bit about the market around the project, let's move on to question three. Who is the team behind the Woke ICO? The Woke project currently has a 12 person team from all across the globe. It's also refreshing that they haven't relied on really traditional advertising methods. For example, their promo video is just them sitting down and talking about the project and you can tell the passion from the team. While the project lacks a heavy hitting advisor, they make up for it with a multinational team with very specialties led by Srub Nayogi, who's CEO of the project but is also the lead designer of the Wolk protocol. Now that we've learned a little bit about the team, we can move on to our fourth question. What is the design of the ICO? So the Wolk crowd sale will start on August 28th and run until September 28th, or until 500 million Wolk tokens are sold. The crowd sale only accepts Ether, and one Wolk token will be initially priced at 1 1,000th of an Ether. The Woke protocol specifies that up to 10% of each transaction will be burned, gone forever. This is done to maintain scarcity over the long term, fighting inflation, and providing a good long term price for the Woke token. So that's our review on the Woke ICO. If you like the video, be sure to smash that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future ICOs or no's. Also, let us know how you feel about the project down in the comments. I've been getting some great feedback from you guys. We really appreciate it. We really enjoy interacting with you all. This has been Jeremy from Blockchain WTF. Thanks for stopping by.